So for today, we're going to be looking at the Destiny 2 raid armors. This got asked for, and this is going to be a wild one because I think I'm going to get hated on for this one because I have some wild opinions about some of the raid armor. So the way I'm going to be rating these are basically going to be what I think about the armor set, how cool it was. There's so many factors into this that honestly, it's just going to go down to feeling. And then I'll just explain what I'm feeling at that point, because um, the way I kind of like review it in my head is are the pieces cool? Like as a whole, does it look cool? Are pieces going to be useful to me? Um, are there pieces that don't shade her well or just don't shade her at all? Like there's just so many issues that come into it that I'll explain all of this when we're doing it, but, but if you guys want to, but if you do guys want to check out the other tier list, I did make a dungeon one already. And I did the season pass one already. I'll have them both right here just so you guys can check those out and see my thought process. But let me know, let me know if you guys agree with some of these, because I do think some of these takes are kind of wild. Um, and I'm going to be noticing this when you guys notice it, because I haven't thought about some of these armors in some long years. So let me know what you guys think. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the Leviathan armor, and I think this is going to be B tier. I don't think it's bad. I think all of the pieces are really, really cool. And as a whole, it looks super cool. I just don't see myself using a lot of the pieces all the time. If at any, I, the war, the Hunter helmet, I do like the arms and chest piece are super cool as well. And the boots are the only piece where I'm just like, eh, and the cloak is terrible in my opinion. Warlocks, I think the helmet is not the greatest. It makes you look like you have a small head. The chest piece is super cool. I like the like crown thing in the back of the head of the chest piece. I think that's cool. The bonds forgettable. The arms cool because you do get like fingertip things, which is cool, I guess. And the boots are super cool. I actually really, really do like the boots. For the Titan helmet, I love the helmet. It's one of my favorite helmets that I like to use. The arms are okay. The chest piece is very, I don't like that. I don't like the chest piece at all, if I'm being quite honest. Boots are super cool. I like them. They just give you a really bulky look, so just be careful of that. And the mark, I actually do use quite a bit as well. So the sets are cool. It's just, I don't use them that much just because uh, it's just, I don't know. Like aside from the Titans, the Warlock and Hunter one, I really don't use a lot. To be fair, I did use a lot of the Hunter helmet back to, back in year one, but I haven't used it since. So that really should explain it. Like as an armor set, I love this armor set. I just don't use it like at all, like, almost at all because the Titan helmet and bond I use quite a bit. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one. So uh, this might piss people off or might not. We'll see. The Eater of Worlds armor and the Spire of Stars armor, I'm just going to put it at C tier. Um, not only is it not good, but it's also technically a recolor or reskin because it's literally the same armor with just the differences of being like the hunter gets extra bits and that's literally all of it. It's just the same armor, but with just extra bits in there. So the first one would be the uh, Eater of Worlds, which is this one right here. And that one's cool. Uh, you can definitely use a lot of the pieces. Uh, specifically for me, the, I have a lot of the hunter pieces that I do use. The helmet is pretty cool. The cloak is okay. The arms is a piece I actually do use. And the chest piece I also, I also do use, but not this one specifically. So technically not that one. For the Warlock, I think all of it's pretty cool, except the boots. I think the boots are way too skinny for everything else that's super bulky, especially the arms. The arms are super bulky. Chest piece is really cool. I really, really do like it. I just don't use it that much because uh, you really do need to use some bulky boots to really make the chest piece look good. And the helmet, I think, looks really cool. The bond is, is whatever. Titans, I think all of it's pre pretty trash. Uh, definitely super trash don't like any of it. I'm not going to talk, not going to explain myself because all of it just looks trash. And then we get to the Spire of this Osp uh, and then we get to Spire of Stars, which uh, it, it literally is just the same armor with just, with just extra bits thrown in there. Specifically like the Hunters, you guys get some pauldrons um, and the Titans, I think get an extra piece on one of the shoulders. Like there's not a lot to say about this armor set. Again, it's just C. Not only is a lot of the armor like very nitpicky that for me, so like I'm very nitpicky with some of the pieces that I use in this set. 
but it's also just a reskin of the armor that we got last year. So for me, I'm just like, I don't care. So that's enough for that one. Let's talk about our actual armor sets that are actually cool. I like the last wish armor that's going to go in A tier. Uh, I know people are going to be like A tier. Yeah, I don't think last wishes armor is great. There's just a lot of problems when it comes to the last wish armor. Let's look at the Warlocks first. Warlocks helmet is super dope. Chest piece is super dope. And the boots are super dope. Uh, the arms forgettable and the bond even more forgettable for the titans helmet is okay chest piece is terrible boots okay mark super cool and arms unfortunately have pieces that are unshadable hunter helmet super dope cloak super dope everything about this armor set for the hunter is s tier so if i were to like cut this in half i would say hunter set is s tier everyone else is a tier because the only piece that doesn't change color are the boots. And even then, it's not a really annoying color because most of the time, if you're using these boots, you're going to go for a like royal soldier knight look and you can mix and match shaders that go well with that color. So for me, the boots not changing color on the actual like uh, like boot armor doesn't really bug me, although I wish it wasn't the case, but that's not the world we live in. Um, every every other piece is amazing. So for me, hunters, hunter armor set would be S titans and warlocks you guys would be a tier just because you guys do have some problems in your armor sets for scourge of the past i think it's b um it's not great at all personally i'm not the biggest fan of it uh yeah i just i go I, I don't know what to say it's just not great uh warlocks helmet your helmet's not that great chess piece it's it's so close to the like world armor that we got for that season not world armor the season armor that we got i guess you would call it the uh activity armor there we go it's so close to the activity armor that i really don't care much for the chest piece arms forgettable boots i think the boots are actually really cool if you want to go for a bulky like warlock look and then the bonds forgettable uh titans helmets pretty trash arms are pretty trash chest piece is pretty trash the only piece I can say this, and I'm going to put this in B tier because of how good this mark is. The mark is fucking amazing, bro. This mark, I love to death. It's definitely one of the best marks in the game for me, especially if you want to go for like a bulky Titan. Boots are also pretty cool. Um, It's just unfortunate that it does remind me a lot of the activity armor because it's kind of close. Uh, Hunters, I think damn near everything's pretty bad. The arms being asymmetrical is not helping. And the chest piece very bad cloak unfortunately the cloak has these two like uh iron plates that are connected to the cloak itself so when you take that off the chest piece looks obscenely worse and then when you try to combine this with other armor sets the cloak it just looks weird because of the plate armor pieces on the on the uh collar helmet i think is probably the best piece and i do have this unlocked so that because i do like the helmet and the boots, unfortunately, if it did not shade her fucking terribly, I would say the boots are probably one of the best boots in the game right now. Um, and it's not even super big. It's just the fact that like there's red like on the uh, on the actual feet and some red behind some plate on the thighs that don't change color. And it's very noticeable. So unfortunately, the, as, as much as I like the boots, I just can't say they're good because of those two factors. So I think it's high B. Like, it's a very good armor. It looks cool. I just, there's just so many problems with it where I'm like, the, the arms for Titans just look really, really bad, especially for females. It just looks really small. And same thing with the helmet, same thing with the boot, with the chest piece, and the boot and the mark are the only cool pieces. Like, I'm, I can really shit on this armor because I don't like it. For the next one, Crown of Sorrow, oh, man, I'm going to put it like in front of, uh, of scourge of the past just because a lot of the armor is cool it's just unfortunate that a lot of the armor does not change color so and it's pretty wild for me to say this in front of scourge but i just think uh crown of sorrow just had the better armor for warlocks i think the helmet is super cool chest piece is fine the boots are super cool the arms are super cool if you want to go for like an armored look and the bond is okay does have a purple glow that does not change color if i remember correctly the titans the helmet is pretty trash the arms are infamous for being ducks uh so they're pretty trash boots i'm i gonna be real with you not the biggest fan and the mark is not that great either the chest piece however i have been in love with this chest piece granted 
the gold like trim and the the purple stones don't change color but i have like worked around that so that's why i love it so much but if it didn't have that limitation i would love it even more for the hunters that helmet is probably the most edgiest helmet you could ask for and it's super fucking cool and i love it um the cloak is super cool unfortunately the white color does not change color so the white stripes will stay the same chest piece is forgettable the arms as much as i like the arms it's just i don't like the fact that a lot of the gold trim and the purple stones don't change colors so you're going to be stuck with that and then the boots i use quite a bit because of the like claws at the feet i think that's super cool so i definitely think a lot of the pieces in this set is just way better and for the titans the chest piece is all you need like that chest piece is super cool but the warlocks also have some really cool pieces i just like this armor set a lot more and to be fair i'm a little biased because crown of sorrow is like one of my favorite raids even though a lot of people argue it was just a raid layer which i'm not arguing it's it is a raid layer but it was super cool so let me know what you guys think about that one for okay this one's gonna be rough because i know people are gonna get mad about this one probably uh it's gonna go in the ass tier i i'm gonna be real with you guys when i first saw this armor i got really mad because if you guys don't know this is basically just a recolor of the which one was it i think it was a uh, curse of osiris Eververse armor it's just a recolor of the curse of osiris armor so that's why i gave it so much shit when this raid arm when this raid armor came out because it was just a reskin of an old armor set that we already had in games so i'm not gonna talk too much about that just because it's really just a reskin of an old armor set that we had and that's very unfortunate for deep stone crypt i oof, this is this is rough because i don't like this armor set i definitely think it's one of the weakest armor sets in the game right now I, but I'm going to put it above. Mm, should I put it above? No, I'm going to put it right here. I, I, I think Last Wish is still the better armor set. Not saying the Deepstone Crypt armor is bad, even though I do think it is bad. There are pieces from this set that you can utilize really, really well. The Titans, I think the arms are super cool in certain sets. The boots, the best boots in the game right now, if you want to go for an electrical, like Titan, spe specifically like technologically advanced or some shit the mark is also pretty cool like it's not bad uh the only bad piece i would say is the helmet and the chest piece i think those two are like really not good for the warlock i think the helmet super cool the arms are super cool chest piece is super cool and the boots are super cool surprisingly because because a lot of this will be good for your technologically advanced warlock like techno electrical anything like that it's going to be really good but if i'm being quite honest i think the best pieces are just going to be the chest piece and the boots and the helmet i think the, those three are going to be the best pieces for it and the arms are are good like they're not bad the mark is going to be the only thing that's like whatever is because it's literally just a fucking hunk of iron on your arm with a hologram on it which is just fucking terrible for the hunters i think the arms are very slept on i think the arms are super cool boots everyone and their mom uses it because it's such a good boot for like your tactical or not tactical your technological uh electrical hunter chest piece is pretty bad the helmet is not that fine and then the man dude the cloak honestly just disappointing to me quite honestly so for me the boots are going to be the best pieces from everyone if you want to go for a technologically advanced guardian you're definitely going to want to use the boots and even some of the other pieces as well because they are really cool so that's why i put it at a tier because just so many pieces that are not only so cool but it's really cool if you want to go for a distinct looking uh guardian now we have the vog armor and unfortunately as much as i hate the armor set for the hunters i have to put it s tier because it's it's iconic um i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put it solely just because it's iconic a lot of the pieces are so so good um let's start off with the hunter i think the helmet is really good like if you want to go for a vex look you're definitely going to want to use that helmet just because it's really good the cloak is really good if you want to go for like a classic hunter look because it's a really classic hunter cloak but everything else is pretty bad i'm not gonna be real i'm gonna be real with you guys I, I don't like a lot of the pieces from this set for the hunter 
I think the cloak and the helmet are probably my only favorite pieces. The chest pieces is actually really cool too as well, but it gets overshadowed when you see the Titan and Warlock, which Titan helmet is so fucking cool. I love that helmet. The arms, not only are they symmetrical, but they are so, but they're also really, really good. The mark is fucking amazing. I, I will know, I will not hear any slander of that mark. The boots are also really cool and the chest piece is okay. Definitely cool, but not as good as everything else. Warlocks, you have the best helmet and the best chest piece for a Vex look ever. Um, I've used this chest piece for my Vex look and I fucking love it. The only pieces that are kind of like whatever are the arms and the boots, but that's to be expected because Warlocks really, all of your fashion is conting contingent on your helmet and your chest piece. That's really it. So yeah, like I said, as much as I don't like the set for the hunters, it's okay because the Warlock and Titan really carry all this. And even then the hunter cloak and helmet are super cool and the chest piece as well. So I just think this is such a dub of an armor set. And then we get to, then we get to this armor. Oh, I got to put it at B, bro. Um, the reason I, I have to put it at B is just because not only is a lot of the armor very specific, but a lot of the armor is also just not great because we don't have a lot of this armor in the game. So that's why you can't really combine it with other sets because it'll look weird with it in there. Uh, that being said, I still have used multiple pieces from this set in, in other, vi in other videos, the specifically for the hunters, I've used the chest piece, the boots, and I think the arms in some other sets, the helmet I've also used in, um, what is it? My, my, um, iron Lord video for the warlock. I've used the chest piece with my, uh, disciple look, which is super cool. And the boots are super cool. If you want to go for like a wizard type look where you're like going for an evil wizard or whatever. Uh, the arms are just the only pieces that I'm just like, wow, those are really bad because the helmet is super cool and the bond is interesting for the Titans. I think all of it's pretty trash, uh, is what I want to say. I think the boots are super fucking cool. Uh, the arms. Okay. I don't love them, but I don't hate them either. Chest piece is super cool and the helmet's super cool. It's just that I never use these pieces for anything because I just never find a use for them. So as much as I don't like this armor set because it's just a little too unique and I know that's going to sound weird, but I say that more so from like me combining it with other armor sets point, point of view, but as a set, it looks fucking cool, but I just never use a full set in a vi in, in my armor because I don't do that unless I'm literally forced to like an iron banner. So. It's not that I don't like this armor set. It's just from a from looking at it from can I use these pieces in, in in a lot of sets? I can't answer that rightfully. And then we have the King's full armor, which oh man, I'm yeah, it's going to I'm actually going to put it like right here in front. I think this is the best armor set in the game right now. Raid armor specifically, uh, just because it's fucking cool. Um, it's iconic, I think, and it's the best example of wearing your enemies as, as a, as a hat. It's a great example of what players want. And I know I shouldn't generalize, but I know a huge portion of the community really want to just have raid armor that you're wearing your enemy as, as like, as a set, because obviously the Titans have the helmet from war priest. That's fucking cool. And you just have so many pieces where it's so cool. So. I say this because a lot of the armor sets that we get nowadays, you don't get your enemies ass as a hat. And that's a saying that Bungie themselves have said in the past. Essentially, I want to get raid armor that looks like what I'm killing because that would be really cool. And then we get to the current raid armor, which is uh, trash. I think it's ass. Um, I, yeah, I think it's ass. I think it's just terrible. Um, I would put it a step above this one just because it is more unique. You know what? I'm going to hate this, but I'm going to actually put it above, above these armor sets just because they're, they're really unique. And as a set, it looks fucking cool. Um, there's just a lot of problems with it. And my biggest issue with this armor set 
is the fact that not only does the shadering take leather colors or cloth armor, I should say, but when you combine it with other pieces, you really notice like, fuck, I need, you need to really rearrange your shadering because all of this armor will take leather colors. So that means that any plate armor that you have, you're going to have to start mix and matching. Like, okay, now I need to like really mix and match some of these because I've, I've made videos using pieces of this and it was not fun. It was really annoying because I had to essentially go with different shaders and make sure that there was almost no plate armor, if not, or had to go through another situation where like, for example, the arms for the hunters, I just decided to have those act like, like a, like a jacket, like arm. So to explain why it wasn't the same color as other pieces. So as much as I do think this armor is unique and cool looking, kind of, kind of, I can see why people love the armor. Um, just it, it falls into the same problem with the Valve D Disciple armor, where it's a little too unique to combine with other pieces. But as a whole, I can see why people would rock it, except the Hunter Cloak. People who like that, unironically, I'm just like, seek help. I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you. But that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about my tier list. I know people are going to be like, of course, the D1 veteran is going to put the D1 armor sets in S tier. Um, and yeah, it's just that armor set is not only iconic, which I shouldn't be rating it because of that. But it also is a good example of armor sets that I like where it's armor set armor sets that you get to wear your enemy's ass as a hat. And I think that that needs to come back because when we look at other armor, it's just like, it doesn't, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look as good. Cause I think raid armor should have that, like that prestige of like, are you wearing this enemy's helmet? Like you took his helmet. Like, yeah, I took his helmet. And that was my biggest problem with deep stone crypt. We had so many cool bosses that we could have taken pieces of them. Like I would have loved if we got like Tanix's cloak back, but like in a different way, or maybe like part of his helmet was like attached to the cloak or something or something along those lines. That would have been really cool. Or if Atrex, Atrex one, uh, one of the bosses in the, in deep stone crypt, imagine if we got like portions of her pieces for the Titans and warlocks, and then the hunters could have had a Tanix because that makes sense. That would have been so cool. Instead, we just got some generic looking electrical sets. And that's what my biggest issue with the raid armor now is the fact that you're not wearing your enemy's ass as a hat. And the only the only like exception to this rule being Last Wish, because I think Last Wish is a perfect example, having the theme of the raid be the armor set, because that is a great example because the armor set looks amazing. Um, I guess my complaint would just be that Deep Slum Crypt didn't have a good armor set for that but i feel like we should have had more exo themed armor sets for that i guess but i don't know let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point because this is a long video but yeah people are probably not gonna like this video because there's some pieces here where people love them and i just don't really love them so let me know what you guys think appreciate you other than that be safe i will see you guys later <laughs>